Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can create this loop in Blender. So let's get started. First hit Shift A, add an icosphere, set the subdivisions to 3 and press Ctrl 3. Press S, Shift Y and scale it down like this. Go to the modifiers. I recommend that you set the levels viewport and render to either 3 or 4. I'm going to set them to 4. Go to shading, go to rendered view and make sure you are using cyclus. This only works in cyclus. Now let's shade smooth. In the world properties, go to color and select sky texture. Set the sun elevation to 12.6. Let's also set the strength to 2. If you want to create the animation that you saw in the beginning, then make sure that under color management and the render properties, the view transform is set to standard and the look to none. If you only want to create a single render, then set the view transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. If you want to create the animation, then we'll do this later. Now go to film. Make it transparent and enable transparent glass. Click on new and delete the principal BSDF. Add a mix shader node. Put it here and plug the shader into the surface. Set the factor to 0.25. Add a transparent BSDF. Plug that into the bottom. I'm going to make that a light blue. Now add a glass BSDF and plug that into the top. I'm going to make this orange. Add another mix shader and plug it into the volume, add a volume scatter node and plug this one into the top and duplicate it and plug it into the bottom. Now take this color and put it here and here. For this one, let's set the density to 100,000. Set the NS drop to one for this one. Add a color ramp, duplicate it and plug the color into the factor here. For this one, let's bring the white into somewhere around here. Go here and flip color ramp and plug the color into the factor, add a mask wave texture and plug the height into the factor here. Set the detail to 15 and with the node still selected, press Ctrl T. Let's use the object output. Set the X here to 0.86, the Y to 0.25 and the Z to 0.19. Duplicate the mask wave texture and set it to 40. And let's set the scale to 2.5. Plug the height into the scale and add a wave texture. Put that here. Let's use the scale instead. Set the distortion to 40, the detail to 15 and the detail scale to 0.25. Keyframe the W here. Go here and open the graph editor. Make sure the node is selected and click on this drop down here and here and select the default value. Go to the modifiers and select the noise modifier. Set the scale to 100 and enable restrict frame range. Set the end to 250 and the blend in and out to 25. By the way, if you want to have these previews here, you can get the node preview add-in for the link in the description. Now let's save. Go to layout mode. Hit Shift A and add a camera and press Ctrl or 0 to go into camera view. Enable snapping, set it to face project and add an empty. Plane axis and press G and let's put that here. Select the camera and go to the object data properties, enable depth of field and select the empty. I'm going to set the f stop to 1 and the blades to 16. In the render properties, I'm going to set the samples to 896. You can of course set them lower than that. Go to compositing, enable use nodes. Add a denoise node to accurate and enable denoising data to get these outputs. Under the output properties, select a resolution that you want. I'm going to set the file format to JPEG and the quality to 100%. Let's create an output folder. Once you've done that, save again and press Ctrl F12. Once it's done rendering, close this window and go to video editing. Hover over the file location and press Ctrl C. Here hit Shift A. Image sequence. Find the folder where you have the images or paste the location in here. Now press A and enter. By the way, make sure you are in frame 1. In the render properties, go to color management and set the view transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Go back to the output properties and set the file format to FFmpeg video. Set the encoding container to MPEG4 and the output quality to high quality. Save again and press Ctrl F12. If you liked this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.